morning guys what's going on it is 4 45 in the morning i just made my coffee i had two bananas and mimi and i are about ready to head out in five minutes to go to the airport because i am flying out to louisville kentucky to play louisville city fc and i'm really excited about this trip because i think that louisville for one they're the first place team in our conference so it's gonna be a huge game and i think they have the best playing atmosphere probably in the entire usl um beautiful stadium great fan base so it should be a really really good trip and hopefully we come back bringing back some points with us so welcome to the video guys Before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Being a professional footballer, I like to keep my body and my legs and everything pretty trimmed. And I love Manscaped because they offer the best tools and solutions for the three big odor zones. Your body, your butt, and your balls. <laughs> they just launched their new Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof electric trimmer. And now you can get the ultimate Manscaped experience when you purchase their new Performance Package 4.0 bundle. With the Performance Package, you don't have to worry about a complicated multi-step regimen. This is an all-in-one kit that provides all the tools to perfect your grooming experience. From the morning shower to the late night, be ready for anything moments. To start, I do my grooming in the shower. With the Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof cordless trimmer, you can tackle your groin grooming confidently without any mess. The Lawnmower 4.0 has these replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and a built in LED to help you trim with confidence. And with the cool new wireless charging system and the new travel lock feature, you have to upgrade your trimmer game. After your shower, be sure to apply the Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, a quick absorbing, clear drying moisturizer lotion for all day protection. For that midday refresher, be sure to pack your Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray with cooling aloe vera and anti-inflammatory properties. Trust me, your balls will thank you. Manscaped is also so much more than a ball trimmer company. Their new Performance Package 4.0 bundle now includes their new Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. Don't sleep on cleaning up your nose hairs and avoid painful alternatives like plucking or waxing. Pulling out your nose hairs hurts more than nicking your balls. When you opt in for the full Performance Package 4.0 kit, you get the best bang for your buck. You can enroll in their Peak Hygiene Plan and get ongoing replenishments of your favorite products straight to your door, hassle-free. For a limited time, you can also get not one, but two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off, plus free shipping and two free gifts by clicking the link in my description. Join the Manscaped movement today. Man maintenance for the modern gentleman. Your balls and your body will thank you. <laughs> we got the open middle seat. We're ready to go. All right, just got to the hotel in Louisville. Here is the hotel room. It is in a loft, an A loft. Two nice queen size beds. TV setup. Here's the bathroom. Nice, nice. What's up? Beautiful. Fantastic. Roommate reveal. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Ready for your 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 big moment? Oh yeah. And it's Sean. What's up? We've What's been up? roommates for the last uh, last few times, and yeah. we were the very first trip we ever made back in 2019. We were together, right? For a few, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, old roommates. Yeah. Brand new. And it's perfect because because you like to go to bed at like 10 o'clock. Sharp. It's perfect sleeping patterns. It's, it's fantastic. We got a lot of the same habits, Shelly. We do. We do. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Hey, you know what it is. What it is. <laughs> so now we're about to leave for training like 15 minutes. So we're gonna change, head on down. 
and out to the, uh, the training facilities. Austin. You have to mute that. Don't worry. I've muted a lot. I had to deal with Callum Chapman Page last year. Can you call him and ask him what's going on? Can they add me? Oh, did you see all those? Why they, why they beefing? They're roasting him. No, I haven't talked to him yet today. I gotta do that though. All right, back from the session. It is 6.20, we have lunch at, or lunch, we have dinner at 7.30 tonight. It was a great session, really good facilities, grass, beautiful grass. We had a really short, sharp session. It was really hot and humid out, but we were only out there for like 45 minutes. Got a great, you know, some possessions, some rondos, some crossing and finishing, and then like five minutes at the end to work on what we wanted to work on, so fantastic. I'm gonna shower, and then we're gonna go. Sean, what'd you think of the session? Yeah. Fantastic, huh? Shorter than I thought it would be. Short and sharp. It was beautiful. <laughs> and how's the grass? Oh, you know, that's how it should be. It's like a, no, it's like a radio, like oh, a satellite radio oh, thing. Much more fun. Yeah. <laughs> Just shoot the player yeah, and hope yeah. somebody sees it. You know it's the guy's on his lunch break. <laughs> <on his lunch. laughs> A-L-L, -L, that's all I know. S. Okay. B-E-N. I was going to say. Actually, I think I got it. A-L-L. S-V-E-N. Yeah. S-K-N. S K A N. Als Ven Scott. <laughs> Not a bad treasure window. Not a, you've been spent zero. All that money went to wages, dude. That's how you do it. Yeah. yeah. All those players are like, I'll go there for free. Yeah. Give me all the give me whatever you were gonna pay them in transfer money. Just put it into my just pocket. Give it to me. <laughs> oh, like, like if I play or after I play? So it is 9.30 in the morning. I had a fantastic night of sleep. I think I was out by like 10, 15, 10 30 at night, and then I woke up at like 7 30, and then I was awake for 30 minutes, and then I slept in again and woke up at 9. So awesome. Nice little nine hours of sleep. Sean, you had an even better night of sleep. Yeah. How, how, uh, how many hours did you get? You have your whoop band, right? A little, a little over nine and a half. A little over nine and a half. <laughs> a little bit better. Uh, what's your what's your uh, game plan going in for the for meals? What do you do for meals for like breakfast, lunch, and a snack? I go a little heavier on the breakfast, and then just gradually get lighter throughout the day. Oh uh, yeah. So you know, lunch a little lighter, and then you know maybe a little snack before the game, but nothing much. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much exactly what I do. All right, so we're ready to head down and get some breakfast. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, 2.26 in the afternoon. I've just been chilling in bed for the last three hours or so. I've just been kind of editing up some videos, hanging out, doing nothing. Sean, what have you been up to? The same exact thing. Editing some videos too? No. <laughs> More Netflix. Uh, more Netflix, yeah. So just hanging out. Now we're about to go down. We have our team meeting, watch some video. We have a team lunch, come back up. I'm gonna nap and then head out to the game. So let's go. How about mac and cheese? Mac and cheese. So we had our team meeting. We discussed uh, Louisville and basically their lineups, how we're going to attack them, how we're going to defend them. I am starting at right fullback as of now, before the game. It is, uh, we pretty much have like another two hours before we have to leave for the stadium. So uh, just chill in the hotel room. But Mimi's here. She made the trip out. <laughs> right to the middle of the yard. Mimi's here. So she is going to, she basically came out because this it's- This is my room. It, this is, yeah, we're in Mimi's room right now. Um, but she came out because I think this is going to be the best atmosphere all season. I think that like Louisville Stadium is absolutely beautiful. The atmosphere there is amazing. And I really wanted her to be in the stands to support me, number one. But number two, to also get some clips of the atmosphere and really show you guys just uh, how great some 
USL setups. Is like this one right on the river? Like the water's behind it, or is that? Different? Uh, is it's that close to the river, Pittsburgh? but it's it's what you're thinking was is Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, and there's also teams with concepts of that. But like, oh, no, okay. the stadium is beautiful. It's yeah. it's literally like an MLS stadium, so I'm really excited for that. Um, so I'm just chilling with Mimi right now, just hanging out, and then um, I'll leave here pretty soon for the uh, for the game. But first, you know, before I always do my my classic ritual, go take a shower. I go change. I get all ready. I get all freshened up. And uh, then I head out with the team. And it's like a five minute bus drive to the stadium. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's time. Ready, Sean? Ready. Let's go. season between Louisville and Tulsa. Ten goals in the first two. Onbi searching for it. Back for Corrales. Under pressure though. Onbi takes it away. Foot race. Onbi's going to win most of those. Puts it across. Chance here. Hit the post. That's how quickly Louisville can do things in transition. Del Piccolo, a narrow miss. Get the turnover ball here, putting Corrales under all sorts of pressure, but he whips it in. He doesn't have to beat anyone. He looks at the near post, puts in a fantastic ball. And Del Piccolo is so close to scoring. Does the keeper make the save? Might have got a fingertip on it there, Sean Lewis. Finger the team is too good to be outside of the playoffs, but it's going to be a tough match here to get any points tonight. Out to Gomez. Now McCabe swings one in. Falls all the way through the volley by Lancaster, deflects in! Louisville goes up 1-0 in the 10th minute. Lancaster, a great enough score in and of himself, gets a little help that time.
Corner sent in from McCabe. Bodies collide. Trickling to the back post. Headed across on the goal line. Still there. Now it's in. Lancaster. Two bad legs. Two goals. Don't matter. Louisville up 2 0. Watch the goalkeeper here, comes out, doesn't quite get a clean punch and it goes back into the danger area. Sean Tosh is the man who heads it back. <laughs> Above and beyond. Meloto curls it in, header, there goes the clean sheet. It's Bradley Bourgeois, the captain. Buckle up, four minutes to go, we've got a game. Bombay, yes. inside. Tosh wins it. Final whistle at Lynn Family Stadium. Closer than it seemed like it might be in the end, but Louisville. It's the two to one victory over Tulsa. Let's hear it for your Louisville City FC! Uh, just back in the hotel room right now. I'm staying with Mimi tonight, and we have a very early morning tomorrow, like heading out like 4.45, I think, from the hotel to get back into Tulsa. So not going to get the best night's sleep tonight, but uh, yeah. Um, the game was tough. It was tough. L Louisville City is, I think, the best, and obviously the best team in our conference. I think one of the best teams in the whole USL, and they did very, very well. Their, their defensive pressure being able to trap us like it felt like in our own half is just is very difficult to play. But um, you know, on the bright side, uh, still, I mean, two one. I thought we gave up, you know, just goals that it's just unlucky. I mean, not unlucky, but just uh, frustrating goals. And then uh, we almost came back at the end. I felt like if we had another five ten minutes, it would have been. I think we could have scored another one. I think the momentum was starting to shift at the end. But you know, the game's only 90 minutes plus extra time, uh, so that's that's all you get. But uh, the atmosphere on the bright side, the atmosphere was absolutely amazing. I mean, that that experience like tonight felt like I was playing first division European football. Like I mean, that's like what you dream of. Like that stadium, beautiful. The the pitch was perfect. The the fans all around. Um, the supporter section like you know rooting against you and, and, and all that stuff and just like the atmosphere of tonight just um, 
is something that I'll remember, you know, probably for the rest of my life. I think that's one of my all-time favorite games I've played in that game, playing at Cincinnati in front of like 25,000 fans, playing my first uh, professional game uh, against Sacramento Republic at Sacramento Republic, just very cool experiences. So, you know, even though we're returning with no points, the experience was, was pretty cool. All right, good morning. Um, pretty unfortunate news. Basically, we were all set to leave at like 4.45. I woke up, my alarm went off, I checked my phone, I got a notification that uh, from, our, from our team manager and everything that the flight was canceled. So uh, we kind of scrambled, things like figuring out what was gonna happen. I fell back asleep and basically like we're struggling to find any flights today and like our flight was moved all the way till tomorrow at 6 p.m. So we were like trying to get another, another flight, but it was really tough to get, you know, 25 people a flight. So I think what we're gonna do is try to get a bus. And as of now, we, again, it was super hard to get a bus and the lack of drivers and everything to try to go from Louisville, Kentucky down to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So as of now, we're not leaving until tomorrow morning at like 8 a.m. and then busing nine hours back to Tulsa. So pretty unfortunate. It's just been crazy. Like every, I don't want to say every trip, but like majority of the trips that we've been on, there's been canceled flights, delayed flights. It's just been, it's been a hassle flying just with COVID and everything. So yeah, it's been, it's been frustrating. So basically Mimi, Mimi left. She, her flight wasn't canceled. Um, so she left, she'll be back in Tulsa today. Uh, but I'm going to go back to my other room with Sean, hang out and, uh, yeah, pretty much just chill for the next 24 hours until we leave on a bus and then chill for nine hours on the bus until we get back to Tulsa. So, you know, <laughs> it's gonna be a long, it's gonna be a long couple days. Boys, good morning. Morning, morning. Everybody's lively this morning after the good news. Yeah. So we hung out in the lobby for like two, three hours just watching the uh, Man City Tottenham game, hanging out. Not really doing much. Uh, there's not really much to do. We, we have no plans besides lunch and uh, and dinner. Other than that, there's really not much going on. I've just been watching some YouTube videos now, hanging out, doing nothing. Sean's taking a shower right now. So, yeah, that's the plan. All right, here's lunch. We got a plate of fruits. We got a chocolate chip cookie over here some pasta salad or something. Gross, salt and vinegar chips. You like salt and vinegar chips? No, I'm gonna stick with my barbecue, thank you. Ugh. Then I got a turkey sandwich. Pretty classic. Oh my god, <laughs> are you? Hey, I didn't sign any release. No, Bert, Bert, take, hey, it. take it. Take something else, Bert. No, 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 no. This camera's nice, bro. I'm not gonna bail your f off. Give me, give me, take it off. It's a nice camera. Right. But Bradley, this is the thing. You you can look back at this in like 10 years. I will never look back at this. Well, I, I, I can look, look back, back at it in like 10 years. I'll remember you, I'll remember Sean, I'll remember I Eric, look, Kevin. I don't even look back a week ago for your videos. I'm not watching them. Wait, stop the video. Stop the video. Stop the video, hold on. Stop the video. <laughs> Just, if you can say it to me, you can say it on camera. <laughs> you see what? No, no, no. Video's always better. I only said it because she was taking a picture. <laughs> she uh, seemed like she knew it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Any day now. Oh, that's clever. You might, I think right, you're the first person to do that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you can't do that. You're definitely <laughs> the first person. Am I moving it? <laughs> Yeah, that's actually kind of sexy. You're I think you actually moved. I think it spins. You did. You moved. <laughs> 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 He's like twerking on the back. Bradley <laughs> 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 loves the camera. All right, just packing up. Finally ready to uh, leave Louisville. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> ready for the 11 hour bus ride now? <laughs> oh, yeah. This trip hasn't been entertaining enough. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, see you soon. That's what she said.
to go. Let's get it, Austin. <laughs> yeah, like four hours, I think. Uh, what's up, guys? So um, it's actually the next day. Uh, I got back and I was just dead. I was pretty tired, so I just kind of hung out, ate dinner, relaxed, and went to went to bed pretty early. Um, you know, in, in general, the trip didn't really go as planned, both with the travel and with the game. You know, we lost two to one. I've watched the game and uh, we've already done film as a team and analyzed it this morning. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, a learning experience as always. Like the bosses, you kind of try to learn as quickly as you can. You try to basically figure it out and uh, you, you go again the next weekend. So we're already prepared now for the next weekend. We play Birmingham Legion, which is gonna be another tough game, but we play them on Sunday. So this whole week now is just preparing for that. But I hope you guys liked the video. Hope you guys liked a glimpse into that uh, away travel vlog against Louisville City. I hope you guys liked the atmosphere of the game. Mimi, you know, thank you so much to Mimi for going there and, and filming the stadium and, and giving you guys a really good glimpse into that. Uh, but I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.